Hey guys, Sean T. Phillip here with my brand new, for some reason, I don't know why I can never do the intro without it mumbling together, but hey guys, uh, Sean T. Phillip here with my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Uh, but today gonna go out guys and you know see what things came out today new release wise. Today though, it's actually not a very big release week. I think there's like um, that one movie, Your Lucky Day and a couple other like smaller things I believe. Next week though, Thanksgiving is coming out. I, I always remember though, January is never really a huge release month for a lot of things coming out. And I know there's more stuff coming out next month, but it's kind of the same way in theaters right now because of everything that happened, you know, a couple months back with the SAG strike and everything, you know, a lot of movies got delayed and things didn't get shot and stuff. So even theatrically coming up, there's a lot of things not coming out or a lot of months where there's not really anything releasing or, you know, weeks when there's not anything releasing. So the thing that's kind of been cool about that, though, is we've been seeing smaller, you know, more indie horror films and stuff like that getting limited theatrical releases because of all that. So that's the one thing that I have liked is getting to see smaller stuff in theaters. Uh, but I also want to let you guys know as well, if you guys didn't see, the Indiegogo went live for the brand new film I'm directing uh, coming up uh, called Skate to Hell. This is going to be shooting in Las Vegas, April 2nd to the 16th. On the campaign, guys, we have a lot of different ways you guys can get involved. You can get special thanks credits to get your name in the movie's end credits in the special thanks area, as well as the IMDb page. There's Blu-ray and DVD pre-orders on the film. Also, if you guys wanted to potentially come out in person to act in the movie, we have a lot of different ways you can act in the project with walk-on roles to major your starring roles. We even have film from home roles if you guys wanted to be part and you couldn't come out in person. These would be ones that you'd film remo remotely to get included in the film like being a video blogger and a newscaster. So those are some of the other ways as well. Also producer level credits on the project and if you guys have any questions as well you can definitely reach out to me on Facebook about how all the perks work and stuff like that as well. But anyway though guys let's get going and see what we can find today. And before we go into Target guys take a look at this. They're tenting the entire building you know like where it's the um, Rubio's across the street from the Target Target, but I've never seen them tent an actual like business. I've only ever seen them tent houses like that. So that's crazy. It's like the circus. It's very creepy like that. Very Tim Burton. -y. I always, I always like kind of the look of that when they tent houses, but it's like I said, never seen an entire building with all those different restaurants all tented over. But we're going to head into uh, Target now. Like I said, we'll see what they have in here today. I'm not really expecting, you know, much of anything today, but into Target we go. And we'll look to in the front here and see what they have out. That's basically the big thing we see now in Target is the $1, $3, and $5 spot right here. And then I guess we kind of see if they actually have the self-checkouts open or not. It's like sort of a pig in a poke now, I guess, if they are or not opened and stuff like that. But at least we can see the things that they change in here. It's, these things are kind of interesting. It's a lot of like random like party things and like... All these kind of like sensory object type things and stuff like that too. They have a lot of those sort of things. You know, these sort of fidget things and all that type of stuff in here too. But we'll look over here in the front though. Because, oh yeah, see it's closed today. That's the thing. I noticed that the self-checkouts seem to be for the most part always closed now. And we can see, you know, the turd mags to see anything new that was changed out here. And what they put differently in these spots. Book-wise here... This is where the movies used to be when they had them in the front. I think this might be a new one here. I don't remember seeing last week, but we'll head over to the actual section. Also gonna see if they have out any of those squish clips that I think sold out here when I looked the last time. We'll see if they have them out here as well. Fingers crossed, so we'll see. Hopefully there's some stuff out over there, but we shall see. But I looked over in the actual section and it was pretty much all the same stuff from last Tuesday. Nothing new out today. And like I said, I didn't think there really would be. But as you guys can see, here's the clips again. It's still these ones all picked over. None of the Bigfoot one. That's the one that I'm looking for, the orange Bigfoot one. So everyone definitely yoinked that one, you know, already. Let's take a look, though, in the actual toy section over here, too, and see if they have any more of the Ghostbusters. Luckily enough, I was able to find all of those retro ones. It took me forever. I went to so many different spots but let's see over here too if they have any over here no i'm not seeing any more though i think they sold out of all those ones from what i can tell no i actually found some of the newer ones they have the ecto one the new one and then some of these new figures left but they don't have any of the retro ones those ones all sold like i said those ones seem to go really really quick and then these ones i keep noticing these this, these are the, this is the character that seems to be left the most this cali uh, character but i definitely look forward though to seeing the new film here though into Walmart we go. All right, so we're going to head over. I have not peeked yet. 
Well, I had a sort of, as I said, not peaked. I saw sort of like a peak slightly. And well, it's not looking like there's a whole lot today from my peak. As you guys can see, it's not really a big day today. See, it was like, I don't think there was anything new release wise that they really would have out today. As far as I can tell, we'll see over in the actual section here too, like mixed in up here. This is where there kind of could potentially be something. And no, I don't see anything else new random in here or anything like that today. Like I was saying, guys, I don't think it's definitely a big release week. Over here too, did they put it, is some of these things new or like this one collection here, this Willy Wonka two movie collection. It's funny, I don't remember seeing this specific version before. I think this might be a newer like two pack together. And then some of these like Valentine's Day ones, I don't think I showed here in the past as well. But one thing I did notice and some people had mentioned to me is that the Walmart $5 bin now is gone or, the, or those bins. Cause I feel like a month or so back, I remembered seeing them in some of the locations, but I feel like nowadays they're all totally gone. Those, the movie bins and stuff like that, at least from what I can tell. We'll see though if there's anything interesting over here uh, toy wise. I'm, I like this location now though, because they don't blast the music anymore. And it's like definitely, at least it's been like that for a while now. So that's the one thing I've liked. Let's go over here though and see anything in the toys interesting. Let's see anything new over here. I'm always looking for, like I said, these retro ones. And I have a lot of these ones already. This is the one I really liked, the um, the, um, the skateboarding one too. This, this one I really liked. I got this one a while back. I think I pretty much found most of these ones again. It's really weird to me to like be re-getting these because I literally remember so well like going into KB Toys as a little child in the malls and seeing these when they were new and then going to Toys R Us and stuff. So to me, it's kind of fun to go and look for that stuff again and everything is well. And like I said, guys, in the videos, I like to try and show different things now too. And maybe I'll do some more fully toy videos down the line as well, but might as well show other stuff that I do because I do look for other things. And, and now too, I'm you know, doing all this Stuff with the projects and the film stuff so we'll try and do more behind the scenes stuff relating to that as well i want to get behind the scenes stuff you guys can see from the productions and stuff too so hopefully in the future we'll have someone kind of documenting everything on the films if any of you guys ever too want to come out and do behind the scenes on any of the films too let me know because we're always looking for people to document things and, and stuff as well but thank you everyone who's been getting involved so far with escape to hell indiegogo uh, like i said we have all these different ways to get involved and any of you guys too that want to come out and potentially act in the film it would be so awesome to work with you all on this one because like i said we're really Really, with this one, going to have a lot of cool characters, and we have skate park locations and all sorts of things for this one that is going to be really cool. But we'll see if there's anything else here in the Valentine section. Oh, yeah, this is what I want to show you guys, too. They have all these enormous giant bears in here now, too. I mean, it is almost like these stuffed animals have taken over the whole place. Like, look at how big some of these things are. And then there's this, like, you know, a monkey one here. And <laughs> there's so many of these ones. But yeah, they have like taken over the, there's a sloth, the slother house one. <laughs> so very cool though. But I think the Easter stuff's probably gonna all start coming out. You know, that's gonna be soon. And then there's gonna be more Easter squish. I'll have to look for, for the Bigfoot one. <laughs> you know, there always is more Bigfoots uh, to look for as well. But no, I already got the little one there, but you can guys can see there's so many of these stuffed animals in here. Into the second Walmart we go. I did go to another uh, Target a second ago, but they had absolutely nothing in there. It was blasting music the whole time and everything. I was seeing if they had any other uh, clips there or any different movies out, but we'll see if this location has everything out in here today. Fingers crossed there's something new out. Like I said, we shall see if there's anything whatsoever in here. Yeah, taking a look in this one, though, seeing if there's anything different Ninja Turtle-wise. I haven't seen those other ones I was looking for, which were, like, the villains and stuff from this one. I, like I said, I think they were supposed to be out, like, the Shredder and stuff. And, and I saw they had, like, a 2024 date, but I haven't seen them, you know, anywhere as well. I am going to start, too, on some Tuesdays, going to Barnes & Noble here and there, and then also going to FYE every so often as well. The problem is they blast music, so if I go in those places, I'll have to kind of narrate over them and stuff like that as well. But I am going to do more of that as well but i kind of like showing some of the toys and stuff too it's like interesting different things to look at because honestly you know i i have it's hard for me to divert from what i do and you guys know that but i'm trying to definitely show different things and 
you know, because I basically I really Tuesday is my main day of doing videos. So kind of like to just show what I do on Tuesday and other different spots I go to and then have the movie places as well. And I will go to some thrift stores here and there as well, too, especially when I'm not as busy with the film productions and stuff, you know, but we'll see in the movie section if there's anything different over there, though. Yeah, looking in here, though, it looks to me like they have all the stuff from last Tuesday. I don't see anything different kind of put here in the front. Like I was saying, I really wasn't thinking there was going to be much out changed in here. And then looking here in this section here, I'm not seeing anything else mixed in here. Because this is really the only other spot where they could potentially have something else different in here. But no, and like I was saying, this is where the $5 bin would have been. And I noticed it's like recently, it seems like all the places have kind of gotten rid of those and everything as well. Because like that was something that was always kind of the staple of Walmart was those five dollar bins and guys i ended up going to another target location they ended up having these hard to find clips these are the bigfoot ones i was looking for the shasta bigfoot clips in here so they actually had these ones so this is the third target i went to today so at least we found one that actually has them out in here and i got them before i guess they must have obviously just put this basket out you see that it's like basically i just took these two out and that's sort of all there is of these ones so yeah i luckily was in here at the exact right time finding these ones so yes this is like being in the right place at the right time so we found these ones few no more like going around to target a million times trying to find these so anyway though guys that was all for my brand new dvd blu-ray tuesday shopping video today like i always say if you guys enjoy these shopping videos definitely give this video a thumbs up also though on the console logo let me know what you guys picked up on dvd blu-ray or 4k today if you guys end up picking up anything today as well also though let me know anything new that you guys have seen in theaters lately uh this past weekend i saw uh, two different films i saw founders day which i was really glad to see that one that had a really limited release now it's a pretty cool slasher movie and it was one of those movies too when i was watching and i was like kept thinking who was the one teacher character and i was like oh it's the dad from boy meets world was in the movie but i like that one it was a pretty good like in the town there was like a people running for this office and people were getting killed off and stuff i, I kind of like that one that was actually pretty well done not perfect all around but definitely what well worth watching uh, the other one i saw was that iss the international space station one which was basically in and up in the space station there was americans and russians and then a war went and and the on the surface and basically everyone down there was at war and then up at the space station they say you have to take the space station back from one another no matter what means necessary basically it becomes this whole nightmare thing up there I, I like that one too it wasn't like it was kind of almost like alien but without like the interesting alien aspect it was sort of like that almost it was worth watching though but i didn't absolutely love that one though founders day though is one i would definitely w recommend what we're you know checking out hopefully that one will get a blu-ray release or a dvd release when it comes out because you know with some stuff you never know if it's going to actually have a physical release so i'm hoping that one does because that's definitely one that would be cool to get also, guys, too, like I said, if you have any questions about the film I'm directing coming up, Skate to Hell, uh, let me know for sure. And thank you so much for all the support. Like I said, it would be so awesome to have you guys involved with this one, especially if any of you guys wanted to come out potentially in person uh, to act in the film. And we have all different stuff, too. Like if you wanted to work with a celebrity or anything like that, we have all that kind of stuff on the campaign, too. But anyway, though, guys, now stay tuned for the brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews. And the first one I got here is from Universal, and this is the 4K Ultra HD edition here of the film uh, Trolls Band Together. This is the third film in the Trolls series. These are really fun movies, and basically, though, this is about, you know, Justin Timberlake's character and Anna Kendrick's character, who are basically now married, and now they've kind of, you know, Anna Kendrick's character has found out that he was actually in this band when he was younger, when he was, I guess, actually a really little kid, and, and then she finds out that they were actually all brothers in this band. It was a band called, um, what was it called, like, Bro Zone, and basically they were all brothers and essentially though she's now like oh I, I can't believe you know you're part of this band and you guys should come back together and have like a reunion and everything so it's basically about them trying to come back together and have this reunion and everything but really really fun movie here this one has on here though feature wise exclusive short film uh, deleted scenes on here and how to hug time bracelets on here uh, a feature as well the next one here this is from uh, Sony and this is the film uh, Journey to Bethlehem and this one has uh, Milo Mayhem in it and what's funny too is this, this came out like around the exact same time and it's from the same company you know sony released the movie as well but he was in thanksgiving so it's kind of funny the, the, you saw like in one spot like the thanksgiving poster for this like real horror like gory movie and then you saw during the bethlehem right next to it i always thought it was kind of funny because it was like him as a star in both of those movies uh basically though this is the story about you know you know all all about kind of you know, how Jesus was born and everything like that and kind of the whole uh, story and everything like that. But it was done in, in kind of more of, um, it, it's, not, it's not done as a musical, but it also kind of done kind of like 
over the top goofy in some ways because like you have characters like bumping their heads and like addressing the audience in a weird way and stuff like that so it's done in this kind of like I, I don't know how to explain it but like this more sort of tongue-in-cheek kind of over the top way with some of the characters I would say though out of everyone in the movie though Antonio Banderas though was the best singer I thought he did a great job and he and he kind of reminded me like his the songs that he was doing of like System of a Down I don't know why like his voice really had that System of a Down kind of voice to it I'm probably the only one to have thought that but it has on here though deleted and extended scenes of uh, the Heart of Journey the Bethlehem featurette uh Meet Mary and Joseph featurette on here Meet Fig a featurette and a bunch of other featurettes as well in the film. Uh, the next one here, this is one uh, from Vinegar Syndrome I had never seen before. And this is a, a fun movie. Uh, Sally Kirkland was in this movie as well. And this was called uh, Fatal Games. If you guys haven't seen the film that I directed that has Sally Kirkland, uh, that one's available now to pre-order. You guys can get the Blu-ray of it now, though, on SRS Cinema or on um, Amazon.com, but the film uh, Wood Switch. And this is a movie here called Fatal Games. And basically, though, this is kind of about like these people all sort of training sort of for the Olympics and this sort of, um, it's kind of like an academic kind of school where they're all sort of training to, to hopefully be in the Olympics and things like that. And basically though, people there are all starting to get killed off. And it's sort of this weird thing of like who is doing this and they're getting killed with this sort of javeling pole thing. And every time I think of that thing, I think of, um, that thing that you throw and see how far it goes from, um, Revenge of the Nerds. I don't know why, but that's like the number one thing I always think of. Now, it has on here, though, feature-wise, it has a um, newly scanned and restored restore in 4K from the 35mm dupe negative. It has a comedy track on here, uh, some interviews on the movie, uh, a bunch of different interviews, or original The Killing Touch title card, a theatrical trail on this one here as well. Uh, the other one here, and I'm glad to have the, uh, the new Blu-ray release of this one. This is a really fun movie. This is from Vinegar Syndrome as well. And this is, I believe, from their partner label, Dagesser video and this is one here um redneck zombies which is a movie i always really liked it's, it was a shot on video zombie film which is if you guys have not seen this one it's a really fun movie originally back in the day this was released by trauma originally there's this one, one scene in here too i always remember when these people all by like the lake and he's like oh that's a good lake over there to piss in i know it's always one of those weird things i always remembered about this movie more than anything else but i always love these kind of like super cheesy films like this and this is one of those ones that was always really fun the other one that i'm kind of hoping that gets a, like a blurry release at some point is the other trauma movie that they released there was a shot on video one called butt crack and it was a very strange one and i feel like that's like kind of like the sort of forgotten about one at least as far as i can tell now this has on here though a uh, newly transferred and restored for the best quality archival tape master on here it has on here though pr presented in fully icon original director's cut edit font with the following sound options a brand new comedy track on here a archival comedy track on here and then a, a brand new critical commentary track on here uh, as well as an alternate 20th anniversary edit of Redneck Do Zombies, a making of documentary from 2023. It has deleted scenes on here, outtakes. Uh, has on here, though, uh, Crabtown USA, a local uh, t uh, cable access show that was the predecessor to Redneck Zombies on here as well. So lots of different uh, features on here as well. The next one here, this is from... Um, this one was from Welgo USA, and this is a movie with uh, one of the, the last films with the late Angus Cloud was in the film. And he has he actually one more with him coming out that's going to be in theaters, which looks really good. But this is a movie here called Your Lucky Day, and Angus Cloud was great in this movie. He he's such a great talent, and it's just such a loss. He was such a like I said, such a great actor. And basically, though, uh, you know, it was kind of like I don't want to ruin this movie, but it was like I, I was really watching it for his character more than anything. But basically, though, this was about you know, uh, it, kind of about he's in this, his character is in these, um, uh, you know, uh, convenience store. And basically somebody in there ends up winning the lottery when he's there. He's like, Oh my God, I got the winning lottery ticket. And everybody kind of in there is like, Oh, like, Oh, he's got the winning lottery ticket. So they kind of figure out how they're going to steal the, the ticket. And it's one of those kind of things where like every, when you can imagine everything kind of, kind of aspiring out of control, this is kind of like the, one of those movies where literally everything keeps going, getting worse and worse and worse. And the people there are trying to scheme and figure out how they're going to get this money, get the ticket away. And it's one of those things too. They just keep making these bad decisions and like, kind of like, how are they ever going to figure this out? How are they ever going to find the resolution to, to, to what they've done here? But really, really good movie. Uh, the next one here is one I want to let you guys know that was available. This is from MVD from the Re MVD Rewind Collection. And this is also the 4K Ultra HD edition. They also sent over the Blu-ray edition of the film as well. This is the brand new Blu-ray release for the film uh, Cutting Class. And this is the 4K one here to show you guys. I always really love this movie. This is one of the, I think, 
I don't think it was the first, but it might have been one one of the very, very early, uh, you know, Brad Pitt films. So this is one that I always really like this movie. It's a really great slasher film, too. It, it takes, like, a crazy turn, especially the end of this movie. I always really like this one. So if, if it's one of those ones where I feel like a lot of people have not seen this movie. And I'm so glad to have this one on 4K. But it has on here, though, the 2018 4K restoration here from the 35mm uh, camera negative. It has on here, though, a, um, let's see, feature-wise, an interview on here with Joe Sloan. It has an interview on here with uh, Donovan Leach, uh, kill comparison featurettes, R-rated and edited versions of the cutting class. So it has the um, R-rated, so it has the edited cut of the film as well in standard definition. It has find the killer and win a VHS store retail uh, retailer promo on here, or the theatrical trailer, and also as well there is a mini uh, collectible poster in here as well. To sh let me show you guys this one too. But really cool release. If, like I said, if you guys have not seen this one, a great slasher film that I feel like you don't hear about too often. Or if you do, it's more about like for Brad Pitt, you know, one of his early movies. But it's actually a really really good movie, not just because it's uh, Brad Pitt's in it. The next one here is one uh, from um, uh, from MovieZing.com. I'll have a link below where you guys can order this one for the best price, and this is also from MVD. And this is one of these movies that I that I remember as a kid. I used to watch this all the time. There's another one that was like um I can't remember the other one. There was a very similar one about like these three aliens or something like that that came to Earth. And then there was a few around this period of time that were similar types of movies. But this is um, the movie Strange Invaders, and this is the Blu-ray release of the movie. I don't know if this is the first time this one has ever been released on Blu-ray before, but this is a really fun a science fiction movie just kind of about this really weird town and kind of like there's all these sort of like you kind of don't know who's human and who's aliens and, and it's just kind of really weird stuff going on in here and, and basically about this woman who got, had gone missing and this guy who's going back to try and find her there and everyone in the town seems kind of off and is kind of it's one of those sort of weird like you kind of almost like in the Wicker Man movie where you knew everyone there kind of knew something and they were kind of acting kind of weird and, and very like kind of hiding something Thing. The next one here, this is from MovieZing.com as well, and this is also from uh, the Warner Archive. Now, this is a movie I was so glad to watch this one again. I had not seen this movie in so many years, and I love this movie. It's such, such a fun movie. This is uh, Joe's Apartment. It's a, a, a movie with Jerry O'Connell in the film, and basically, though, Jerry O'Connell's character moves into this... Well, basically, what happens is he's trying to find an apartment in New York. He has, is having no luck. He doesn't have enough money for one, and then what ends up happening is this woman who lives in an apartment ends up dying, and when, she's, when she dies, she ends up throwing her keys and he grabs them so basically he ends up taking her place from her after she dies because he grabbed her keys when she when she did when she was having a heart attack and fell and the, the keys fell up in the air and he grabbed them so basically he ends up taking over her place and living there he comes to find out though that there's all these roaches that live there and they're talking roaches so they're all like hi, 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 and it's all this stuff and they're all singing songs it's this this the most craziest stuff you can imagine movie and it's about these guys that are trying to basically get joe out of the place and because they want to tear down the building and turn it into this big like I think like a big resort or something like that they were trying to build there but a really really fun movie definitely one you guys have got to check out if you guys have not seen this one and the next one I got here is from MovieZing.com as well and this is also from the Dark Side uh, collection here I think uh, from Dark Side Releasing and it's a movie here called Dark Waters this is one I feel like I might have seen this one years back I can't remember it's from originally from 2015 so I might have seen this or seen the trailer for this one years ago this is an interesting one it kind of was making me think a little bit of like shock waves with the characters like the pirates coming out of the water it's basically though about this couple they went to this weird sort of like big kind of mansion out in the middle of nowhere and the one and it's something really weird about the place and basically around the area is like this body of water and everything and the one day the woman is out sailing and she ends up kind of finding this fish and there's these weird things inside of it like this these gold nuggets and basically though it kind of becomes like these pirates come after them it's like a really like i said a really cool very creepy movie it has that real fantasy kind of like dagon kind of feel to it like like that um, H.P. Lovecraft kind of that that sort of feel to it a little bit, and it's that that sort of vibe to this one. Uh, this one has on here, though, feature wise, the um, behind the scenes uh, video on here, as well as a photo gallery on this one. And the last one here, I wanted to let you guys know that was available. This one was from Second Sight Films, and this is the brand new, um, you know, Mean Streets, a 4K release that they have here. And this has the brand new root uh, uh, 4K restoration here, supervised and approved by director Martin Scorsese and collaborator uh, Thelma Schumacher. And also has on here, though, a new audio commentary on here uh, from BFI Classics, um, from Demetrius Mat Matatu. Uh, it has scene-specific commentary with Martin Scorsese and Amy Robinson. 
It has an interview on here with Jonathan T. Taupton, uh, Saints and Sinners, uh, Dr. Catherine Waitley on Mean Streets, 2011 uh, film at the Lincoln Center screening on the film, uh, as well as a archival uh, feature at home movies and a trailer on this one here as well. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. Like I always say, if you guys enjoyed these videos, uh, definitely, get, get, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching subscribing, guys, and definitely uh, be sure to check out the Indiegogo for my new film, Escape uh, to Hell, and you guys can find that below as well. And thank you again for all the support.